Hello lovely people and welcome to my channel, Amigo Romi Forte. I'm Gabby and today you can watch me while I make these adorable sushi cats. This is one of my most popular patterns on Etsy so I decided to make a complimentary video tutorial that's accessible to everyone. As per usual, in the description down below you can find a link to the pattern in my Etsy shop. Also, if you struggle with the stitches, you can find a video tutorial for every stitch that will be used in this pattern. Now, here are the materials I used. One cup of coffee to give me the energy to count all these stitches, safety eyes, 2.5mm crochet hook, red, black and white yarn. For the brand of yarn, I used yarn art jeans, but you can use whatever you prefer. And the final ingredient for this sushi cat will be fiber fill. Now let's get started. Grab your white yarn and make a slip knot. Chain 9 stitches. This is going to be your foundation chain. We're going to make an oval shape out of this foundation chain. Usually when you start with the magic circle, it's a bit harder to make an oval shape out of your amigurumi. But if you use this technique, the foundation chain, you can easily make a novel shape from the very beginning. Starting from the second chain from the hook and you'll be working in the back loops only. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Make sure to grab only one loop. If you don't know how to make single crochet, you can always check my stitch tutorial in the description down below. But basically the single crochet stitch is place your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, now you have two loops on the hook, yarn over again and pull through both two loops. This is one single crochet and you repeat that 7 times. If you need, you can slow down or speed up the video using the YouTube options. Four single crochet in the last chain. This means that you need to make single crochet four times into the same stitch. It's very important that this is the last stitch because you already made seven single crochets and the last stitch is four single crochets into one stitch. After that you just proceed with the other side of the foundation chain. Single crochet in the next 6 stitches. Increase in the last stitch. Increase means two single crochets into the same stitch. Now it will be a good time to place a stitch marker. The stitch marker represents the end of the row. So when you make the next round and you reach the stitch marker, you're going to know that this is the end of the round. I'm using plastic stitch markers that I bought from AliExpress, but you can use whatever you prefer. Uh, and you can use safety pins, piece of yarn and so on. From the next row, crochet in both loops. Row 3, increase.
single crochet in the next seven stitches Increase in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next 8 stitches. Increase in the last stitch. Row 4, increase in the next 2 stitches. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Increase. Single crochet in the next two stitches. Increase. Single crochet in the next 8 stitches. Increase. Single crochet in the last stitch. Row 5. Single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Here I decided to put stitch markers to indicate the increase because I messed my counting like 10 times. 
Feel free to do the same if you don't want to count the stitches. Increase. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Increase in the next 2 stitches. Single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Increase in the next 2 stitches. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Increase in the next 3 stitches. Now we are back to making sequences. So row 6 is single crochet in the next 2 stitches followed by increase and you repeat that sequence till the end of the row. Single crochet in the next 2 stitches followed by increase. On the last stitch, put increase. I will meet you at the beginning of row 7. Row 7 Single crochet in the next 7 stitches followed by increase. And you repeat that sequence till the end of the row. Row 8, single crochet in the next 8 stitches, followed by increase, and you repeat that sequence till the end of the round.
From row 9 to row 16, you will be putting single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to meet you at row 17. Row 17, single crochet in the next 8 stitches followed by decrease. Keep in mind that I'm using the technique called invisible decrease. You can learn more about it in the description down below because I have a tutorial on how to do it properly. The decrease is basically crocheting 2 stitches together in order to reduce the stitch count. Basically what you need to do is to grab the front loops of the next 2 stitches. Yarn over. Pull through. Now you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both two loops. This is it. So you repeat that sequence, single crochet in the next 8 stitches, followed by decrease till the end of the round. The last 2 stitches of the round should be a decrease. Row 18, single crochet in the next 7 stitches followed by decrease. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 19, single crochet in the next 2 stitches followed by decrease. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 20. Single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Decrease. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Decrease 2 times.
single crochet in the next three stitches. Decrease two times. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Decrease 3 times. Row 21, decrease 2 times. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Decrease. Single crochet in the next two stitches. Decrease. Single crochet in the next 8 stitches. Decrease. Single crochet in the last stitch. Now it's time to place the eyes. They should be placed between the 13th and 14th round. Row 22. Decrease.
single crochet in the next 7 stitches. Decrease 2 times. Single crochet in the next 8 stitches. Decrease. Row 23. Single crochet followed by decrease. You repeat that sequence, but on the last stitch you need to put single crochet. Now it's time to stuff the kitty's body with fiber fill. Stuff very firmly. Row 24, decrease around and single crochet in the last stitch. Slip stitch and finish off, leaving a long tail for sewing. Close the gap with the tail by weaving the yarn with the needle. Now let's move on to the ears. You're going to place 8 single crochets into a magic circle. If you are confused how to make a magic circle, have no fear because I have a video tutorial on this exact technique. This technique is quite fundamental and if you want to make your life a little bit easier, I recommend learning how to make a magic circle. It's not an easy technique but you'll benefit a lot once you learn it. Once you placed all single crochets into the magic circle, pull the tail to close the gap. Place a stitch marker to indicate the end of the row.
From row 2 to row 3, you're going to play single crochet in every stitch around. Row 4, single crochet followed by increase. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 5, single crochet around. Slip stitch and finish off, leaving long tail for sewing. Now let's move on to the top of the sushi cat. I used red yarn in this case, but you can use whichever color you like. Now let's get started. Row 1, 6 single crochets into a magic circle. Row 2, increase around. Row 3, single crochet followed by increase. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 4, 
row 4, single crochet in the next 2 stitches followed by increase. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 5, single crochet in the next 3 stitches followed by increase. Repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 6, single crochet in the next 4 stitches followed by increase. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. From row 7 to row 20, single crochet around. I'm going to meet you at the beginning of row 21. Row 21, single crochet in the next 4 stitches followed by decrease. Again, here I'm using the invisible decrease technique. So you repeat that sequence till the end of the round and in the last two stitches you can place decrease. Row 22, single crochet in the next 3 stitches followed by decrease. You repeat that sequence till the end of the round. Row 23, single crochet in the next 2 stitches followed by decrease. Row 24, single crochet, fold by decrease. Row 25, decrease around. Slip stitch and finish off, leaving a long tail for sewing. Close the gap with the tail by weaving the yarn with a needle. It doesn't need to be stuffed.
Now we've reached the belt. In this case, we're going to use black yarn, obviously. So let's get started. Row 1, chain 51 stitches. Row 2, starting from the second chain from the hook, single crochet in every stitch. Finish off leaving long tail for sewing. Sew the ears starting from the 14th row to the 17th row. Sew the top just behind the ears. Grab the black yarn and the tapestry needle and sew the mouth of the kitty. Grab the yarn needle for sewing and sew the whiskers using black yarn. Connect the belt by sewing it into a circle.
And now we are ready! Thank you for staying until the end. These videos take a lot of time editing and preparing, so I'll be very grateful if you decide to support my channel by clicking the like button and subscribing. Please check out my other videos and let me know if I can improve something or give me a hint of what would you like to see in my future video tutorials. Stay awesome and happy crocheting!